so this is the time for us to actually create the website the project that was shown to you from the outset this website this is the time for us to get started so it is time for us to practicalize everything that we have learned from the preceding videos so the first thing we are going to do is to install a new theme that looks like this now before we get into that you may ask yourself that where can I get a theme for my website for one thing wordpress.org has available free themes that you can use so let's browse some of these themes to showcase some to you so these are some examples of the themes that are on wordpress.org that you can use however not every theme for that matter a free theme on this website is really cool for any website if you really want a very professional website then you may consider buying a theme and how do you get a premium theme you go to themeforest.net and themeforest.net has available a whole lot of themes for different business talking about any business at all any type of website there is a theme built there are so many themes in fact built for that particular purpose that you can buy basically the prices range so let me show you some of the prices on average around 59 to 60 dollars you can see some of them here these are things that you can actually purchase and use to build your website so these are some of them agency themes yes so that said you now know where to acquire your theme to build your website project so let's get started with our website so we are going to install a theme known as Sydney Sydney theme so what do we do we have to go to appearance then to themes and select themes then this option will allow us to install a theme either by activating an already existing theme in our project or to add a new theme so we are going to try this option so we go to add new theme here this button or better still we can use the one here any option works so add new so here because we have connected to the internet we see themes available from wordpress.org these are free themes some of the themes here do not come with what we call demo data so even after installing the theme you can't easily make the website appear as the one that they have others to come with such data that you can easily import and make your site look just like the one that they have here so in this case we are not going to install a theme from here but if you ever want to install a theme directly from your server you can just hover over any theme that you wish then install it then you'll be able to now activate it and customize it to your needs so here we are going to upload a theme so you click on upload then you browse up your computer to choose the theme so mine is located at desktop then themes then I have my Sydney available there so I just double click on it to choose it then I click on install now so this is just one method but you can use this one upload it from your computer and the other option as I've shown you 
is to directly install it by clicking on install when you have connected to wordpress.org and of course by default your dashboard will be connected if you have internet connection that will be enabled and then there are several other ways like to install them over what we call file transfer protocol which we will learn these in the future so once this is done the next thing to do is to activate the theme to make it the current theme so we go to activate now just as we learned previously that the menu that we have the items that we have on the menu here are those that come with wordpress installation by default but we learned that whenever you install any new theme or plugin they add their options to the sidebar here the menu items here to increase them and so everything too comes with its own peculiar instructions it is just a matter of following the instructions or the documentation that the theme comes with so that you'll be able to eventually get your site created and customized to suit your needs but basically these instructions are in three folds the first thing is to install the themes the second is to activate the plugins that come with the theme then the third is to customize it to suit your needs by going through the settings of the theme or the default settings of WordPress and then you are able to make the theme or your website look exactly the way you want it or you are developing for a client for the client needs to be met is what you have to do for the person so we are going to get started so here you go to get started with Sydney where we are going to get the instructions or the documentation as to how to follow it step by step to so get started so these are the instructions here and it's telling us that we should install and activate Sydney toolbox then Elementor, then one click demo import. Then step two is to import the demo data they have so that we have our sites looking exactly as their own. Then step three is to style the customizer so that we are able to customize the site to meet our demand. So we are going to install and activate this starting with this Sydney toolbox. The second to install and activate is Elementor. Elementor is a page builder. It's going to help us to build the various pages that will form the website so beautifully. It's one of the top page builders. So we go to the next option, install and activate Elementor. And the third one will be install and activate one click demo import. This one is helping us to import the demos to look exactly like the one, the three author added to us so install and activate so the second step is to optionally import demo content and so for this to work all the plugins that came with the theme are supposed to be active and that is why it is important for us to finish that so that we have all the features that comes with the theme so they are installing and activating great so we have all our plugins installed remember we talked about plugins as tools or software that helps to add more functionality to our website they handle various functions of the website so once the recommended plugins are installed and activated they will work to bring out all the features in the theme that the theme developer developed so let's get started with that so we go to automatic importer then we are going to work on that step two the next step is to import demo data and this is going to take quite some time so this is one thing that we have to know about the demo importation. Importing demo data which includes the posts, the pages, the images, the theme settings is the easiest way to set up your theme just as I was explaining and it allows you to quickly edit everything instead of creating content from scratch. So instead of creating content from scratch we are going to set it up to look like the theme so that we can now apply some tweaks to it and our website is fully designed and these are some things we have to keep in mind the existing posts the pages the categories the images the custom post types and any other data will not be deleted or modified this is just going to add 
additional content and it will not overwrite those ones so nothing will be deleted nor modified then the post pages the images the widgets the menus and other theme settings will be imported so we are going to have more pages more posts additional images we are going to have additional widgets the menus everything about the theme are going to be added so we realize our content is going to increase than first then the next thing is that we should click on import button only once and wait for a couple of minutes so if we click on the button about twice or more it's going to do the importation those several times so we don't want to have any duplicate content we just have to wait till this is complete great so here we have the demo import has finished there were some import errors so there's a warning here that the sidebar form could not be imported right no problem so let's head off to see what has happened to our website now now if you click on this to visit your website let's see what happens amazing so we have this as our website now the features that we talked about everything is now displaying beautifully you should have this by now and this is the home page so the next thing to do after having the content this way is to customize it to suit our needs the elementor page builder that we installed is going to help us customize all these features on the home page and the other pages before we get started with the elementor let's customize the website to change these features up here you can go to appearance then customize so starting from the top you can go through this one after another or better still use these options by clicking on, on each of these once we click on them you'll be able to edit them correspondingly so we can start from that so the menu option here enables us to choose which menu will serve as the one for the navigations here and if you want to change it then you can choose a different menu here which will be applied as we can see here so let's choose the main menu once again so if you want to change this feature then you just click on this can change the writings here so let's say welcome to our company so just any content so you take your time and compose content that will meet the demands of whoever entrusted you with the project or if you are doing it for yourself of course you know what exactly you are doing so this is the title this is the subtitle and this is a button so we can click on this button and change the text and the address that one clicked on the button it will lead to should also be edited so You can click on learn more then for this the url let's say that you want this particular button to lead to the contact us page when clicked on so all you have to do is to get the url of the contact us page so contact and so you can see that it is our website domain slash contact so you can just copy the contacts and paste it here so you can enter the whole URL or you can make it a relative URL. Relative in the sense that it is relative to the domain name ben.test. This domain name ben.test. So it means that if we add this to it, it will be ben.test slash contact, which is of course the URL of this contact as page. So let's save it and see what happens. If you finish, you click on publish and then the changes will be effected. So let's go back to the home page and see what has happened to our page now. So we see this, everything has been customized as we deemed fit. So we click on learn more button. Let's see what happens. It takes us to the contact aspect just as we did. So let's keep on with the customizing. So these are slides that will be shown on the home page one after another. And you can set the time in milliseconds that one slide will show and the other will also be shown. We can also change the slide to a different image and you can also add another slide so let's say that you want to add a second one select image it takes us to the media library 
where we can select an uh, image that we want to use. Let's say you want to use this image, just click on it and select choose image. So that becomes our second slide. Then we can add a title, the subtitle, and then the button. So title welcome then to anything like to a pleasure to meet you then this one too we can add a button to it we choose to do that we add a button to it we click on the button link here it takes you to where you can add the button so it's basically the same button that appears for both of them so it will also be led to the contact as page so after everything is done we click on publish for changes to be effected now that this is done we are going to start editing the pages that follow and we are going to do this with the elemental page builder so let's head off to the home page once again click on edit with elemental so this is one option of editing a page the other option is to so let me go to the wp admin dashboard again you can enter it directly ben.test slash WP admin take you to the dashboard because we are already logged in that is why it's open right away if we had not logged in we would have had to log in with the credentials that we created at the beginning of the installation so we can also go to pages then choose the page that you want to edit so in this case it is the font page the home page that's home we click on edit with elementor then it will work for us or better still we go to the page then we select edit with elementor and then we proceed any of these options will function so this is the elementor page builder and how it works so here are elements or widgets that you can drag and drop them to the web page to build it. In this case, we already have this, so we we'll just editing the contents that we have. So if you hover over it, you see an icon here, which is edit heading. You can just click on that and then it will take you to the heading at the left hand side here where you can change it to what you want. So maybe services or whatever you wish then you are able to customize it as such then this area to you just click on this it will help you to edit you also want the changes to be applied to the whole column here then you can use this option this option will enable you to now change the height the width and all other features of the whole area in this case we want to maintain it otherwise you could have changed it in any way at all that we want just as you can see the changes being effected here so we can change it as we want that way but here we are going to leave the settings to default so we want to edit each of these services and of course the way to do this is to hover over it or look out for the edit icon just click on it to take you to where the uh, options to be able to edit the particular section so this is the title so maybe web design then you can also edit this one so this is our first service and to change this icon you would have to go to the icon library to update it so you click on icon library to take you to where there are loads of icons that you can use so in this case there should be an icon that relates to the type of service you are talking about so it could be anything so in this case you can do it for the purpose of our project so you can see a whole lot of icons hundreds of icons so let's say that you want to add anything like let's say facebook so you see facebook it has appeared you can choose one or whatever you want then insert it then the changes will be applied the same applies to any of these services this is an area that is the about us section the procedure to edit this is the same as the one we did above so let's get in the way so just click on this and then you can change whatever content there is you can just delete it and type whatever is appropriate for you so you can change the tag here so this one is heading one is the highest level of heading you can change this to heading two heading three four or whichever we want so we will maintain this the default heading one of course you can also change this one Once you finish with what you want to do, you just click on update. You can also make this a drop cap. 
so that you see the first letter of the first word becomes bigger whatever you want to do after doing this you just click on update for the changes to be effective I suggest you go through this and try each option until so you update it nothing gets destroyed so you just have to play around this the other one is this particular one these are various categories so this is design development photography and strategy these ones can equally be edited to show the skills of the company so we let them just as we have said so far so design could be web services then you can choose this one to be any percentage so this could be hundred percent and then you can do the same for the other services here too if you want to delete anything you just right click on the section that you want to delete and just click on delete then off it goes so let's edit this one here by clicking on the edit video option then we'll be able to select the source of our video so in this case we have youtube vimeo daily motion then self-hosted video so we choose any one of these then you just embed it here this is the length of the video so let's say that i have this video i want to embed this video just right click on the video copy video url then come into my page editor i just paste that instead of what is there the reason why this image is still there is the fact that it has been used as a thumbnail so we want to change this so you go to video or image overlay and that is the image that has been used so you can delete this image then we have our video we inserted from youtube available here having done this we can change the various settings of the video after the changes have been effected you can just click on update to update it if you click on style here we'll be able to change the dimensions or other features of the video we have embedded so the aspect ratio can be changed so this is the first one so you keep changing to see which one will be appropriate for you then you just enable that in this case you are going to use just this one and then update it so we proceed to this section you can change any element here all of these you just click on it it takes you to the left hand side where you can have options to edit it so here we have the number let's say thousand so let's type this in block letters web projects then you can change of course the icon by going to the icon library going through the icons and selecting which one we think is appropriate for the very option that we have enabled the same is true of this we can edit these ones the same way we have done this one edit the same applies to those here so we can change each of these options if you click on this it gives us the project list these are the items so clicking on each item gives you options to modify it so we have this option so this could be projects number one then there's a search term or a filter term as we can make these terms that when someone clicks on this only items under art will show so it's going to filter the options available so you put the term that will be used to filter it in this case i'm adding another term which has been shown here just as you can see so if i finish and click on web that particular one will be the one to show if i add others with the same term they will equally show as part of this the show all the, will now show all the options available then of course there's a link button where i can change the link and i can also choose an image that will replace this so it takes me to the media if i have any image i can choose it or i can use an already uploaded image so it could be any image at all let's say there's this image i want to insert i just insert media the same is true of this one so project list so this is project number one i go to item number two if i want to edit this one too i click on it. it takes me to the image library where i can replace the image the other option of adding image to wordpress is to drag and drop it let's see how that works we want to minimize this and drag an image and drop it here so let me go to my desktop images so I can just drag and drop an image here so just hold it drag it here 
and it gets uploaded then I can use that image in anything that I want to so once this is uploaded I can just click on insert media and it gets inserted of course after changes have been effected you can click on update and you have it published so let's update it this is yet another section testimonials section the same method for editing is what we are going to apply here so if you click on this button edit it will enable you to have options for modifying this content so we have three items because we have three testimonials here as they are sliding one after another and in each case we have a statement the image we have the name of the one giving the testimonial and other possible options so let's edit the first item you click on item number one we have the image of course we can choose a different image we can delete the image click on the plus button here to add another image so this could be another image such as this one you insert it here then the changes will be affected you can change the name the name of the one who gave this testimonial so in this case i want to use name then another option here is the position of the person so it could be just anyone like manager this option here helps you to edit the statement made by the person giving the testimonial this is a testimonial then you can update it so the same procedure we have used so far from beginning to this place is the same thing you are going to use to complete the entire project so you click on any item and you look at the left hand side it enables you to edit that item so apply the same principle and you'll be able to edit completely your home page and other pages the same is true so here click on edit the test here is the one available here for you to change so here so you see once we take it off it goes off you can replace this with another content and then you can edit our buttons add the urls the text of the button and the same procedure is applicable for every other section so if we want to take off some sections that we don't want if it's just one item of the whole section then you can right click on that item and click on delete then off it goes or if it's the whole section then you can use this particular delete section option to delete the entire section and of course if you want to add new content we can click on this plus here for us to add another content such as a video we just drag the video and drop it then it enables us to now choose video to replace what you have added clicking on style here enables you to now apply changes to the aspect ratio and the appearance of the video or any other item that you drag and drop you can add other columns here by clicking on the plus so if you want a section or a structure with one column you just click on that one if it's two columns three columns four or whichever way you want it you select it just as you deem fit and then once selected you see those number of columns available and the next thing to do is to click on the individual plus buttons in those columns you have to select which item you want to add so this one could be an image you drag and drop the image into the section then you'll be able to now choose an image that you want to use for that particular section so if this one too you want to use an image then of course we click on the plus section then you can drag and drop whatever we want such as google maps into it then there we go we'll be able to now make changes to that so you see how easy it is for you to modify the home page to suit your needs after everything is complete and you attain the desired result you just click on update then the changes will be applied so it has been updated so let's go and have a look at our website so we can either go to the dashboard and go to visit website that is this one or better so you can enter it into the address bar then you can have it opened to just have a look at the work that has been done so far good so this is what we have done so far these are the changes that we have applied And this is our amazing website. Great. So basically, this is an overview of how to edit the home page. You can apply the same principles to edit the other pages in here too. The team page, the services page, the blog, the contact us, and all the other related pages. You can just edit them hit on the publish or the save button then you are good to go 
So there are other pages you may want to edit. The ones that we access them through the navigations here, where we can now choose on Edit with Elementor to edit them. In the same way, once again, we can just go to Edit with Elementor here. So let's say that for this one contact page, you can just go to Edit with Elementor. It opens for you. Then you can edit it and apply the changes the way you want it. And you can have your website up and running.